Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Spongebob Squarepants The Cosmic Shake. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here in Bikini Bottom after going through Halloween uh, Rock Bottom, and that was fun. When I started the game up today, weirdly it had sounds, like, while it was loading, like, and going through, you know, like, all the, like, beginning credits and things. But as soon as it got to the main menu, all music just cut out and the game was totally silent. I had to restart it. Ooh, so melted cheese all over the ground! Patrick, I think that's hot lava! Well, I lava me some cheese! Oh, SpongeBob, there you are! I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. Anything for my favorite teacher! This jelly stuff ruined all the good noodle stars. I can't reward students without them. I uh, need you to get new ones. Oh my god, the good noodle stars. Don't you worry, Mrs. Puff. Your best noodle student will help you in these trying times. All right. Thank you, SpongeBob. There we go. Why, SpongeBob, why? All right, well, let's explore around here and see what we can find. Maybe we can find some interesting stuff. There's gonna be so much stuff to collect in Bikini Bottom. My God, after we collect all of these random assortment of quests, why do we have Venus flytraps? Quick, draw a circle around yourself. It's sea bears. Wow, I can't believe we, I can't believe we're referencing sea bears. Also interesting that these are like Venus flytraps. I found something interesting out. Apparently Venus flytraps are, like, native only to my state, in a very specific area of my state, and that's it. North Carolina. Very weird. I never would have thought we had a claim to fame for anything. Because I'm pretty sure the Venus flytrap is, like, our state animal or whatever. Or sta not state animal. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? State plant. Our state bird is the cardinal. I know that. Hello. Can I hit you? No, they bite once, and then they're just kind of chill. Like, can I stand on your head? I can. Look at that. Wow, I can actually use them as platforms. Interesting. Well, there's a page up there, but I don't see a good way to get up there. Yeah, I don't- I don't see a way to do so. Okay. Well, maybe there's- maybe there's something else later that will allow me to get up here. Patrick, I don't know why you were pointing to Mrs. Puff. There's nothing to do with Mrs. Puff. Alright, let's get on our horse. I can't believe mystery is never once referenced. Hello, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, me boy. I knew you had your hands full already, but I got a little favor to ask you. Okay, Mr. Krabs, what do you need? I was wondering why me pockets felt so light, so I checked and discovered that me lucky penny collection's gone missing. You carry your penny collection with you? Of course, lad, and they were here before we got back from this other world. SpongeBob, those pennies are worth more than your life. Please, bring them back home, boyo. The lucky penny. Yes, sir, Mr. Crab, sir. Thank you, lad. You're the best employee a crab could wish for. Tell Squidward to take notes. I don't know. Squidward does a pretty, pretty fine job, all things considering, as well being the only cashier and all that jazz. Um, I thought you were gonna ask us to paint your house and not get any paint on your first dollar. What's that shiny up there? I think it's just goo? I think it's just the goop stuff. All right, so uh, now we can just go ahead and get out of here. I'm glad we have these fast travel things unlocked now. Makes my life a lot easier. All right, Patrick, I'm back. Let's not get near Angry Gary. We'll- we'll look for all of the stuff that's... There should be some stuff that's hidden here, but it seems like we want to get all the side quests before I start going back into previous levels, because clearly Mr. Krabs... Lucky pennies are hidden in the levels. Because you said they were here and then they weren't after you went into the place, so... Yeah. Probably want to collect all the side quests, then go delving back in. Now my whole rock is covered in snail slime! I just had it cleaned when I moved in, too. Oh, it looks wonderful. I know it's a very challenging situation. But could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate! 
Uh, that was sheer luck. Was it? <clears throat> uh, speaking of which, good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just uh, give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. Oh my god, we're Spongegar. Oh my god. Maybe I'll just stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. Well, Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Nah, I love this I episode. The Stone Age. This episode was so awesome. <laughs> yeah, like some idiot who lives under a rock. Yeah, exactly, Patrick. Exactly. Well, let's go save Squidward. We're coming from the future. Future. So slimy. I wonder why sometimes I instantly die and sometimes I just take one little bit of HP loss. Very weird. Alright, you know what? Screw that. Let's just go ahead and get over here and get into the level. Why don't we? Really seems like the best call to just wait on gathering most of the side stuff. Right, Squidward, your two favorite people in the world are coming to rescue you. Yep. All right, what's the new world look like? I'm very interested. Imagining it's just going to be prehistoric bikini bottom, but. Petgar, Manaka. Oh my God, we're actually we're actually talking. No blah blah? Okay. Uh. <laughs> you two don't have to do this, you realize. Like you're 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 not actually from here. Okay, are we going to continue doing this the entire time? Okay, escape the cave. Okay, wait, what's over here? Oh, I thought this was a secret passage. It's not a secret passage, in case you were wondering. Jump over all the rib cages. it's fine. Well, this is cool. I like these sorts of uh, prehistoric levels. One of my favorite parts of Ape Escape. Okay, we're we're going on our tongue. Okay, I just crashed right into that. Okay. Okay, well this is where the lava. Oh, there's all the sea bears. Wait, why are sea bears in prehistory? Oh, look at all the Mr. Krabs. Yeah, because in prehistory, Mr. Krabs look like that. Amazing. Money, 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 money. Oh no! Clarinet. Squidward, Manuga. Okay, we gotta find Squidward. Squidward is apparently here. Well, Squidward. I think Squidward was Squidward was in the in the uh, the BC episode. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. I was trying to think. I can't remember exactly what he looked like. I think he has like a unibrow. Of course, a lot of them have a unibrow. unibrow. How to Grand Slam? A, B. Okay. A, B. Wait. Like that? Oh, okay, like that. Double jump and then smash. There we go. Okay, so I finally have that stupid thing, which we need to unlock a lot of stuff in a lot of different levels. Wow, we have the concept of pizza in BC. That's crazy. We could probably make a killing. Oh, I thought I saw some enemies up here, but that was just Patrick. Get away from there, Spongebob. What in the hell is that? Okay. Why do you... Wait, okay. It's a Thresher Mall. Why is there a Thresher Mall? Whoop. There we go. I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Alright. I know something uh, interesting specifically about these kinds of sound effects. Um, a lot of jungle like soundscape sound effects um, have kookaburras in um, their like thing. It's uh, it's the one that goes like, oh, 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 oh. Or, damn it, I'm really bad at doing a kookaburra voice, but 
uh, kookaburras. I think it was that one, maybe. I think it was. I think it was that one. They make they make like a laughing kind of noise. It's like oh, 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 oh. Um, and kookaburras aren't actually in jungles. I'm totally butchering this, but um, I learned it from the bird show that I go with the Renaissance Festival to, like every single year, because they have a kookaburra there. And uh, I forget the name of the kookaburra. I remember the name of the vulture because the vulture is hilarious because every single time the vulture gets out it runs around and tries to steal people's food because it's a vulture and its name is Ziggy and it's a cute vulture hello but yeah I totally butchered that but yeah basically the gist of it is kookaburras always show up in jungle landscape um, things but they're not kookaburras aren't actually found in the jungle there we go boom what was that noise? I heard a wobble? Oh, it's you up there. This music makes me think of Spyro the Dragon. I really want to play Spyro. God, I love Spyro. So much. There's actually another uh, 3D platformer I'm looking forward to coming out um, at the towards the end of this month. So I think I might be finished with this by the time that comes out. So we'll be able to immediately hop into a new platformer, which will be nice. <laughs> Yes, we've heard of- we've had first and second breakfast, but what about third breakfast? Okay, there's a... There's a golden spatula. Not that it really does much for me, but we got it. Do you at least get an achievement? <laughs> for finding them all? I have to imagine so. I, I don't imagine they just put it in for no reason whatsoever. Bye bye. Oh, I actually bubbled you? I didn't realize I actually landed it. Didn't look like I did. Alright. Well, we got another Thresher Maul to deal with. They're kind of annoying, but they're easier than, um... The one thing. Uh, the, the fridge idiot. There we go. Why do you have hands coming out of you? Ew. Get that out of here. No. Bad. Go away. Can I just immediately get you back out? Okay, I do have to actually wait until you're doing that. Alright, well there you go. Thresher them all down. That's... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the monkey noise, but... The laughing kookaburra is a cool one. My favorite part of the bird show is the, um... Uh, the, uh, whatchamacallum, the, uh, owls, because owls are my favorite, and they're so cute and adorable. Love them so much. If only I was better at recognizing noises and replicating them. At least we're wearing our anti-sea bear underwear. Right, Squidward? And die, die, die. There we go. Oh god, not this stupid idiot. No, oh, I missed the opportunity to hit you. Oh wait, no, I did hit you. Okay, that's good. There we are. It's not that bad when there's a ton of other enemies to take out, because then you have something to do while you're kind of waiting for this idiot to do his attacks, but... Bye-bye. Alrighty. Let's go. So we ever gonna get any explanation as to what these things actually are, or are they just the weird cosmic goo monsters? Hey Squidward. Bongo work acquaintances. How to rolling rock. Okay, you get on it with A, and then you Y? Weird. Okay. 
Okay, so I just dismount with Y. Interesting. That's that's it, really. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. Did my rock stay, or do I have to get a new rock? Oh my god, my rock's down there. It keeps rolling. Okay. Well, I gotta keep that in mind, I suppose. The rock will just roll on without me. All this makes me think of is the Katamari song. Oh yeah, that's a fantastic thing that was announced during Nintendo Direct. The Wheel of Katamari uh, re-rolled. That's so exciting. Oh my god, I'm so excited about that. That's a big whale. It's bluey! Oh, it's the blue jellyfish! Look! Oh, there's two of them. Oh. Alright, catch jellyfish to wake the Dorodon. What? Okay. Um... Okay, so apparently smacking them is catching them. Good to know. Were all the jellyfish blue back during this? I don't remember that being the case, but... Are you coming out of the other side? Yes, you are. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Ow! Okay, give me that. Yeah, apparently hitting them with my bubble wand counts as catching them, because I was like, I don't have a net. How am I going to catch them? But nope, just smacking them with this. That's enough. Go ahead and karate kick that. Owie. Eat. Eat it, nerd. Die. Die. How did you form back together? I had already killed you. There we go. Die. Jeez. Hello. Dang. Hello, Jelly. Okay, so... There's my rock. I was like, where's my rock? Yeah, this is definitely another one of my favorite episodes, Spongebob, the VC episodes. They were fun. When they learned how to cook things and were very, very excited. I remember watching it quite a bit, because it would come on all the time. Alright, let's go back, Spongebob. And... smack! Okay, we need four more. There we go. I imagine there's some more on, like, the main platform. I need one more after this. Yeah, so there's gotta be some up here. Hello. Yep, there's one. Along with the Thresher Mall. Okay. Now I can just go. Wait, why am I over here? Oh, come on, I was already in the right spot. You set, like, a default spawn point for me, and it wasn't the one I wanted. Alright, fine. Up here we go. And I'm just running past this Thresher Mall. It takes too much time to kill, and it seems like I can just run right past it. Hopefully there's not something that blocks me from going in here again, like the last time. There's not something cool hiding on you, is there? I thought that would be a nice place for it to balloon, but... Apparently the game does not agree with me. When are we gonna get the Reef Blower? Are we gonna go to, uh, uh, Squidward's, like, weird... Uh, what's the word? Uh, yeah, cause we still need that. Are we gonna go to Squidward's, like, weird little, um, commune that just had squid people in it? That's where the Reef Blower showed up in the show. Fun fact, when I was a kid, after watching that episode a few times, I- I still, to this day, sometimes almost say Reef Blower instead of Leaf Blower. Um, and I regularly called it a Reef Blower, and no one ever called me out on it, and then I just realized that one day, I'm like, wait, I keep referring to Leaf Blowers as Reef Blowers, and people are probably looking at me like I'm so weird, or they just think I'm saying it wrong. But, yeah. So, fun fact, I guess. Uh... Well, it worked. Your, your, your plan worked. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a fun little thing. 
I still think I still think about it sometimes. Like every single time I say leaf blower, I have to make myself not say reef blower. I remember doing the like little um, Goo Lagoon races. There were all kinds of little shortcuts you had to take if you actually wanted to beat the best times on those things. Most of these sections have seemed pretty simple so far. No, quit it, please. It's okay, we have our anti-sea bear underwear. We're fine. We are good. And glide through the spire of the dragon rings. And now we're back down here. Don't hit that. I only have one HP, so we have to be pretty careful here. There's some HP. Thank you. There we go. I have more anti-sea bear underwear. Uh-huh. You know what would be a, what's an incredibly weird idea, but I would totally play it? A SpongeBob SquarePants like RPG. Like Paper Mario-esque RPG. Except it's SpongeBob. I would totally play that. Like, come on. You have so many ideas for abilities. There's so many different characters you could get on your party. It'd be cool. To be honest though, I'm I'm very biased and I will take many, many things um, in the Paper Mario formula. I mentioned before, one of my favorite ideas for, like, a new kind of uh, Nintendo RPG series is, like, a Kirby RPG. It would work so well because of how uh, many different abilities and everything you get. Well, I tried to land on that thing. It looked pretty good, but apparently the game didn't agree with me. At least our checkpoint was right here. There we go. See, I wanted to get up here because what if there's something cool? There's a doubloon. See? This is why we go for risky jumps. Splat. Alright, cool. Neato, let's go. I actually finished, um... Fun fact. Uh, I actually finished my first game on stream yesterday, which was, uh, pretty cool. Um, I finished Hi-Fi Rush on stream, and it was a really, really fun game. So that was neato. I've never finished a game on stream, so... Never completely, at least. I played- I mostly just play a bunch of roguelikes. So, it was cool to actually finish a game for once. Of course, life sims and stuff are on the docket as well. Whee! And away we go. Jump on the bones. This level's fun. I like this level. It's just kind of chill fun time. And that's what I like. Uh, it barely got me over there. My god. That was a close one. Yeah, just the platforming and everything here is really fun. I like it quite a bit. There's a good mix of things. And it's kind of nice. Uh, the like Wild West level and a few of the other ones felt like open. But you couldn't actually explore that much. I feel like this game is... You know, it's it's more suited to, like, very linear levels. Uh, because the, the gameplay is usually pretty linear. Aside from being able to find some doubloons down random little paths. It feels like it really lends itself well to nice, tightly crafted linear levels. So, rather than giving me the illusion of being able to run around and find secrets and stuff, just, just give me a nice linear level with some stuff down some side paths. Because that Wild West level, I was trying to walk everywhere that I couldn't. <laughs> was trying to treat this like super land. Uh, do I need to fight any of you? I think I do. Okay. Wait, oh wow, I can hit you while you're going down? Oh, that's hilarious. That's what happens. I hit you while you were going down. And it actually did- Oh, you- No, you didn't actually take damage, though. It looks like you did. But you did not. Howie. Dang. Okay. That enemy is interacting weirdly right now. Whoop. Get away. Alright, give me those underwear. Ow. I gotta do the big slam. There we go. That's what we need. Get up. Oh god, I'm trapped inside of its body. Please. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, watch out for that, I guess. We can get trapped in the thing's body. Also, why is there a heart up there? Made out of... Scallops? Clams? It's a little- it's a little bird that Spongebob and Patrick adopted. Also, what is going on here? I thought defeating all those enemies would allow me to get up here. But nothing has happened. Um... game? Did you just soft lock on me? Or am I missing something? Oh, maybe I needed to kill these idiots too. Okay, there- <laughs> there we go. It was actually one of those instances where I needed to kill everything, even the enemies on the previous platform. Alright. Cool. I did it. Hello, Splody. And Splody. Thank you. Alright, let's go rock rolling. Wee. This is fun. This is a this is a cute little mechanic. Oh see, that would have been a shortcut. I could have hopped over that. That would have been neat. Hello. Actually, I guess I can't hop on with this thing. I can't, like, jump with it. I can hop off of it, but I can't jump with the rock under me. That's something to be wary of. Can I ride those things up? I don't think so. I could have just careened off the edge there. Okay, dodge the exploding ones. There we go. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need a new outfit soon. Uh, oh god, got flip turned upside down. There we go. We're good. Good. We're good. That's what we are. Uh-huh. Huh. Go, go, thank you. Whew. Pardon me, Tabunga! Uh-oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we just got launched. No! Run away, Mr. Krabs. Oh, okay, we're immediately doing what- it Oh, there was the heart thing that I saw. The heart thing made out of, uh, out of the birds. They're basically birds. Hi, Mr. Krabs. There's so many of you, Mr. Krabs. God, where are all these spinal cords come from? Megalodons? There's a lot of spinal cords, okay? Yeah, there's so many, like, little things on the wall here. Yeah, this one's like a... Is it a warning? Watch out? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's a warning to, like, watch out for what's coming up. There's the heart! Oh, the two fish love each other! That's why there's a heart. Adorable. I think an artist got bored while working on this game. And just was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start making some garbage. Another one of these, huh? I see. Solve the puzzle. Well, that was easy. Okay, so... This one first... Is what I'm- is what I'm guessing here. There we go. That one right there. Then it's the jellyfish. So, down, up, uh, over there, there we go, yeah, that looks about right. Um, then we got the fish, you need to come over here. Oh, that wasn't right? You want it back there? Really? Do you also want this one back there? Oh, you totally do. Okay. Okay, fine. If- if you want them all lined up back there, I thought the front was perfectly fine too, but... If that's what you prefer. Okay, next is this. So we just move this over. Okay, and then the final one goes over here. Oh, I see the little pedestals now. That's why you're supposed to know to put them there. There's like these little... yeah, little, like pedestal things. It's... It's Pearl crying. So, Pearl's the leader of this tribe? Pom Pom? Weird. A 
Ag, ag. No god, my laga palega. Unga, not coral, Spongecar. Not coral. Uh oh. <laughs> oh god, what's happening right now? Mace what? I gotta fight Pearl? Okay. This is not what I expected. Okay. What am I doing? What is happening? Okay. Okay. Let's get over there, I guess. This music sounds like something from, uh... This music sounds like something you would hear in the Agrabah level of Kingdom Hearts. Are you, Squawk? Uh-huh. So far, you're not too bad, Pearl. So, can I- can I jump to the next thingy now? Will you allow me to do so? There we go. This is weird. I did not expect Pearl, of all people, to be the boss of this level. That's weird, right? Do you squawk? Okay. This can't be the final boss for this level. I've barely done anything. That would be impossible. Okay, there's my... There's my platforms. Okay, next phase. Now we're doing something with these pedestals, right? Okay, okay. That's different. Okay. Uh-huh, you're crying. What do I have to do? Oh my god! Okay. Ow. Oh, these things... God, these stupid things are slowing me so much. Okay. Okay, I can break the supports there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off of me, you stupid things. Okay. HP. God, those things are annoying when they slow you. So obnoxious. Go away. Away with you. Their slow is not small. It is, it is a pretty severe slow. Okay. Um, go away. Go away. Go away. Owie. Owie. The, the, the rain. The tears. They're so, they're so damaging. God, Pearl. Please. Uh-huh. There. What a weird fight. Okay. I'm out of HP, so we do have to be careful here. Uh-huh. Okay, that was close. That was also close. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, now just dodge the last of the enemies and hit this final support beam and we're good. Uh... I'm not even gonna bother with the enemies. I'm just gonna try my best to dodge this shit. It's so hard, the way they move. Oh my god. They move so weirdly. Okay, I'll get back to the final hit, because this is just not exciting content to watch again. Also, there's no music? Okay. Yeah, I'm really bad at dodging the tears. The tears are hard for me to dodge. Oh, you can dodge roll through them. Oh, that makes it way easier. Okay. My god. If you had told me Pearl was going to be the hardest fight in the game, I would have called you a liar. But here we are. Jeez. Taylor-foo, SpongeBob! Taylor-foo! Uh -huh. Huh? Oog! Squawk trapped here with two morons? No! <laughs> On the jokey! Wait, that was the whole level? No way, that was so short compared to the other ones. Oh my god. 
Okay, that's nuts. Wow. I did- wow, I just completed a whole level in one episode. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that one was quite short. Jeez. We can stop talking like this now, Squidward. Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. You're still talking like a cave squid. Hmm. Gaga. Hmm. Looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Madam Cassandra will help us get it back. Great. Okay, so Squidward still can't talk, right? All right. Well, let's go ahead and save and end this episode off. So, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.